Today I'm going to talk about ExpressLRS, or ELRS for short, an open source project that allows you to get an insane radio link range for an affordable price. I'm also going to show you how to set it up with beta FPB modules and receivers and then test the system. But first, what is ExpressLRS? Well, ExpressLRS is a radio link system and it's an open source project that is compatible with several hardware. Now, OpenTX is the same, but for radios. So you have a firmware that runs in a radio, so you can do mixes and do all kinds of stuff. But ExpressLRS is for radio frequency modules and receivers, so you have a better communication between the two. The main deal about ELRS is the low latency and long range capability of the system. In the GitHub project, they have published several results after testing the system with different setups, and the distance achieved is quite impressive. Before ExpressLRS, if you wanted to go long range, you had to buy an external RF module from a different vendor, like the TVS Crossfire, Dragonlink, or the Freesky R9M, to name the most popular ones. Those are completely proprietary, until ELRS came along. Now you can save just a bit of money compared to the Crossfire modules, but that's not really the advantage of ELRS. ELRS has the lowest latency so far, and according to the range tests, I think it's many times better than Crossfire. I'm not 100% sure, because I'm basing my opinions in results I've seen on the internet rather than my own experience, but the results are pretty convincing. But an experience that I do have was flying the R9M from FreeSky, the 900MHz module at 10mW. I only got about 1km when I was getting failsafe. I guess that's not acceptable for that low frequency module, even if I'm using a very low power output of 10mW. I think with ExpressLRS you can achieve even farther distances with only 10mW at 900MHz. Also, ELRS is compatible with both 2.4 GHz and 900 MHz frequencies. New vendors are creating new products based specifically on ELRS firmware, so that we have more hardware choices, more powerful modules and tiny receivers. But if you want to go an extra mile and make your own transmitter module and receiver, with ELRS you can do it. All the documentation is in the GitHub repository. With OpenTX, you could also make an entire DIY radio, so you could have an entire open source DIY long range radio system if you're willing to put the work. But that's out of the scope of this video. Let's take a look at these modules and receivers from BetaFPV and let's flash ELRS firmware to it. So, this is what comes in the box with the BetaFPV modules. This is a 900 MHz version. Look at the size of this antenna here. It also comes with two different antennas, so you can select what antenna you prefer. The module is a Nano RF module, so it's really tiny, and if you want to make it compatible with the JR full-size Bay, like in the Taranis or the TX16S radios, well, you have to 3D print a, a project box like this one, and I just glued the module outside and I wired uh, the pins correctly, and that's it. It's really simple, it's not nothing out of this world is really, really simple. This is the 2.4 GHz module, as you can see the difference in the size of the antenna. So let's go ahead and flash these modules and the receivers from BetaFPV with ExpressLRS. They already come with ExpressLRS in them, but I want to change some of the settings and maybe to be complying with the rules in my country and also change the binding phrase and maybe some other stuff that I want to change, but those are the basic ones. So to do that, I'm going to reflash it and maybe uh, update it with the newest version, because I'm not sure which version comes from the factory. And then I'm going to proceed and just use it with my radio. But also you have to make sure that your OpenTX radio is up to date with the latest firmware to be able to connect with ExpressLRS seamlessly without any problem. Also you need to download a Lua script that will allow you to change the power output and uh, data rate of your transmitters or your RF modules. But I'm not going to show you the whole process on how to update OpenTX in your radio because there is plenty of information out there about it. I'll leave a link in the description below. But after you have done that, you are ready to uh, have the ExpressLRS modules uh, talk to your radio without any problems. 
But now let's uh, download the ExpressLRS configurator on your computer. And there you'll select all these options that you want to apply to your system and then build and flash the code. This process can take a little bit of time if it's the first time you're doing this. But after that, you flash it and you're ready. The beta FPB module is completely flash and now you can connect it to the back of your radio. So this is Express LRS configurator in my computer and we're going to select the latest version of it. Then in the target, we're going to select the device you are using. In my case, it's the Beta FB 900 megahertz and it's a transmitter module. So this is for receivers and this is for transmitter. And after that, we select the way we want to communicate with the device. I'm going to connect it via USB. So that's the way uh, you have to select that UART or you can also do it via Wi-Fi and if you don't know how to do that well you can check here the instructions on how to uh, do that and then you'll see in the documentation how to uh, do the connection and everything even with a UART you can do that this is the download Lua script thing that will allow you to uh, communicate with the, uh, with the module. So if you download this file, it's a very small file, and uh, you will download this and that you have to copy it to your, to your radio. And it has to be copied in the scripts folder, tools folder. In there you paste the, the Lua script. Here it is, the elrs.lua and that's the one that you have to run from uh, your radio to change the power settings and some other settings in, in the transmitter module. If you didn't know where to download that Lua script, well, that's there. Uh, but you can also download it from the ExpressLRS project, I think also from OpenTX, not sure. But then you have here all the options that you can change. This is my custom binding phrase, and this is to only connect with other receivers to have the same phrase and then you can also select what regulatory domain you need to use in my case is the european regulatory domain so i select that so i am all legal and everything is fine and then here i select the device where it's connected i haven't connected the device yet but here you select where it is connected Okay, I have connected the device already and I should be able to see that here. Perfect. Now the next thing you need to do is to build the code and you can flash it afterwards or you can do both at the same time. I'm going to do the build and flash. So it will do everything in one single step. So uh, after you click that, uh, depending on if it's the first time you do this, it will take some time to compile the code and everything and then flash the firmware. Uh, but if it's the second time you do this, well, it will take a little bit less time. But this is the second time, so it will take only a few seconds. And as you can see, it's already flashing and it's taking very little time. And after that's done, you will see the success or you can see some errors in red in case something goes wrong. Sometimes it's the connection to your device. Maybe try with the Wi-Fi network instead of the, the UART connection. But in this case it was successful, so nothing else to do here. Now I'm going to flash the, the receivers. So now we turn on the radio and we will use this one. This is a 2.4 GHz. Uh, make sure it's connected using this diagram. It's only three wires. And now we can go ahead and press system and uh, find that Lua script we loaded before, the ELRS Lua script. We run it, it's connecting, and now we can change some parameters here, like the packet rate, the TLM ratio. I'm not sure about what's the TLM ratio, but I will read more about it. And the power output. The power output is really nice because we can select from 10 milliwatts to 500 milliwatts in this in this device here. But if you had another one, you can choose even 1000 milliwatts or 2000 milliwatts, which is a lot. I have already bound this to my drone and I'm going to be flying my drone 
Uh, I'm not sure if I will be flying long range because my goggles or my video system won't catch up with that distance, but I will fly around and that's it. One of the things I've noticed is that it cannot go back for some reason, so I turn it off and then on again to exit out of that Lua script and that's it. So we're ready to go out and fly. Well, after all of that, I went to the park and I was just flying around just like a normal flight. There is no need to have a Beta FPV long range system to do this, but because my video system won't have the same range as these devices, and I will have to do the range test in another opportunity with another kind of equipment, especially for my video, to have uh, a good reception with a long distance. So long range test will come uh, next time with another video. For now I hope you'll enjoy this video and I really appreciate the Express LRS project and thanks to BetaFPV for sending me these modules. So I'll see you in the next project.